<laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try not to curse. Cause that would be goddamn motherfucking horrible. Even though I feel like doing it, but I wanna try to be a little professional. Professional? But I, got, I, got, I have a bone to pick with the NFL. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it not manly enough? Is it not butch enough? I want to talk about that Michael Sam's shenanigans. Bring shenanigans. That's what I call it, shenanigans. Shenanigans? Beneful? I'm real upset because I had to sit there and endure. You had to eat some Beneful? Two hairy dudes. Where? Where are they? I'd like to see them. Let me see them. Kissing each other on my TV. So it's it's not like the homoeroticism of wrestling or anything like that, right? Now if I knew I was gonna be watching the gay network. Sweaty, aggressive men getting kind of physical with each other out on the field with everybody watching every football game and you look forward to it every time. You don't wanna see that? Really? I mean, how can you worship masculinity if you don't, well, you know. I wouldn't watch it. You watch plenty of the sweaty guys getting physical on the field. Is a kiss really that bad? Because I don't want to watch Gay Network. I don't want to watch two dudes kissing. You'd rather watch them touch each other in the name of a game. I gotta explain that bullcrap to my son. Yes, explain why. It's such a tradition to watch guys get all physical with each other, wearing skimpy clothing. Yes, explain that to him. It's tradition, right? I was hurt. The kiss that hurts straight people's feelings. I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. I, I, I'm just hurting so badly. <sighs> He, he shoved his tongue so far down my throat, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do anything. Disappointed to see that come on my television set. PTSD. Broadcast station should have had a five second delay. For a kiss? I mean, if he had gotten, like, his dick sucked or something like that, and it turned into, like, a big porno, you know. The five second delay might have been good, but, you know, this was a kiss. You know, the kiss that caused you PTSD. Because, you know, you're so strong and all that. You're so manly. You're so manly. And not show that in my house. Because admiring masculinity in a traditional way is good, wholesome family entertainment. I have a right not to be gay. So you think that seeing gay people kiss is going to make you turn gay? Wow. You're not very comfortable with your sexuality, are you? Did you hear what I said? I have a right not to be gay. I have a right not to be straight. And I have a right not to be a fluffy cloud in the sky. Yes, you have a right to be gay. Fine. You want to be gay? Fine, be gay. I have a right not to be gay. And? I have a right to raise my family, my children, my sons, the way I want to raise them. Do you want to raise them to appreciate the manly men of football touching each other, getting all sweaty on the field? Yeah. Teach them to procreate. How early of an age? Since that gay people can't do that, they have to adopt or maybe go get a turkey badger or some other crazy shenanigans. Ring shenanigans. But naturally you can, because you're gay. But I, I'm not, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the part, the kissing on, on the television. That, that just really just, it made me so angry. I almost broke my TV, but I'm saying it cost too much money. It's going to break it. You're just so upset that football is no longer this sacred ground for you. You're just so upset over it. Because, you know, football is about being manly and traditional values. And now that's been invaded by something else. Oh no, you'll have to take your kids to church to teach them about these values, these traditional values. It's no longer up to sports. Sports has been invaded by diversity. Oh, oh, oh. For that moment, 
Yeah, I'm a veteran, so what? Was there lots of homoeroticism in your experience in the military? Or why'd you mention it? I mean, you know, if, you know, if it's so what? Yes, I'm a veteran. But so what? I have my first amendment right to freedom of speech. Don't hate me because I can agree to disagree with you. I have a second amendment too. Better believe I'm strapped. Because you know it's a manly thing to try to kill gay people if they try to hit on you. You know, you're strapped, you know. I'm not saying this just to play. I'm serious. You're serious? You want to go kill some gay people? So threaten me. I'd never threaten you, my schnooky wookums. No, I can feel you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Comedy time is over, America. Wake the fuck. Peace! Of hairy ass. Out on the field.